This is a good time to pause and summarize what we've learned so far. We've learned some theory and some practice. In theory, we've learned about patterns, which are uh, grammars, which describe languages, where a language is a set of strings. We've learned about interpreters over those languages and about compilers, which can do the same thing, only faster. In terms of practice, we've learned that regular expressions are useful for all sorts of things, and they're a uh, concise language for getting work done. We've learned that interpreters, including compilers, can be valuable tools, and that they can be more uh, expressive and more natural to describe a problem in terms of a native language that makes sense for the problem, rather than in terms of Python code that doesn't necessarily make sense. We learn functions are more composable than other things in Python. For example, in Python we have expressions and we have statements. They can only be composed by the Python programmer, whereas functions can be composed dynamically. We can take two functions and put them together. We can take f and call g with that and then apply that to some x, and we can do that for any value of f and g. We can pass those into a function and manipulate them and have different ones applying to x. We can't do that with expressions and statements. We can do it with the values of expressions, but we can't do it with expressions themselves. Functions provide a composability that we don't get elsewhere. Functions also provide control over time. So we can divide up the work that we want to do into do some now and do some later. And a function allows us to do that. Expressions and statements don't do that because they just get done at one time when they're executed. Functions allow us to package up a computation that we want to do later.